Right, hey, so today just a quick video to show you how to use this website here, serveme.tf. So if you're new at Team Leader and you need a server to play your matches and scrims on, then this is how you get one. The first thing you do is log in and make sure your settings are good, get premium if you want, and then click Let's Play to get into reserving a server. Choose your start time and end time, so this, make sure that's appropriate for your scrim. Just click on the hour and then the minutes will show up uh, here. Server region then, you got German, Dutch and French servers, we'll go for a German one, you can check your ping there. Password, that's what people use to join the server, so set that to whatever. The Archon password is what you would use to change the map and things like that in the game. Your first map then, we'll go for Reckoner, doesn't really matter, you know, choose whatever for the scrim. Uh, STV is what people use to join the game, but as a spectator, so you'll see Source TV is one of the spectators and people will sort of look through that, that's like its eyes, I guess. Uh, then you want to tick these boxes if possible. So demos.tf just saves the replay to demos. Um, and soap DM here makes pre-game a bit more fun. So before the rounds actually start, you'll have health regen and ammo and things like that. Config then, make sure it's the right one for your league and game type and map and things. Uh, whitelist then, just keep it default and auto end. Uh, ends the server once everybody's left and after your match is played out so somebody else can reserve it so it frees up uh, Warhammer Brigade 12 in this case and then you want to click save and it'll take you to the next screen so we're here now and uh, the most important thing here is this one here the connect info so that's what people have to put into console to join your server so you want to copy it to your clipboard you can press it this button here and just yeah that'll copy it so you can put it in uh, console once you're in game. Another thing then is STV here, so if people want to join it as a spectator, they can do it through that connect, and the Archon password will show up here. Oh, here. There you go. Cool. Uh, let's have a look in game then. Okay, so we're in the game now, and we want to connect to the server, so we open up console, paste in the connect info, and press enter. And it'll start loading us into the server now. So what I'll go through is an example of after you've played out your match on, say, Reckoner, and you want to change the map to Product, how you would go about doing that. So we're in the server now, let's pick Blue Team, and we just played a match, let's say we beat them on Reckoner, and we want to play Product now. What you want to do is open up Console. First command is always Archon Password, and then type in the Archon Password. So ours was Archon Password123. Press Enter. Then normally, after a scrim is played out, uh, the STV, like I said, it has a delay, so it needs to catch up. So it won't let you change the map until that STV is caught up. So what you can do to avoid that if nobody is casting your game is do Archon TV delay map change underscore protect oops zero and then press enter and it'll give you auto quick as disabled for me. Uh, and then you can change the level. So Archon change level is the command and then if we go into product you go cough underscore Products, excuse my typing, RCX, as that's the right version. And then we press enter. And you can see the server is now changing the level as it says in the bottom right. And it will start loading us into product, ready for playing that map. So, something that's going to happen on product, or is likely to happen on product, I should say, is the, is the server's not going to be in the right config. Because we were just on a 5CP config, and now we're switching to product. Uh, so you can see here it's got 30 minutes left on the time and it's not showing the three rounds. So the product config is different, so there's no time limit, Last but there's round I limits, right? So, uh, well, I should say the round limits are different. So the command for that will be archon exec, and then you want to type in the config for cough. So etf2l underscore 6v6 underscore cough, and then press enter. And you can see it loads a lot of stuff. And now there's no time limit, and once you're ready up, you can see the win difference is zero and the win limit is three. So we're now playing uh, cough. There are also some other commands that are more specific. So one example is archon, oops, archon MP time limit. Uh, let's say 20, whatever. So you can see there that the time limit has changed to 20 now. And uh, yeah, you know, it is what it sounds like after 20 minutes the round will end. So you can set a custom time limit. Time limit, you can also set a custom win limit, so Archon MP win limit, let's say 40. Uh, so now someone has to score 40 rounds for the game to be over. And a lot of these commands you can you know, look online for if you want specific ones. 
Um, but yeah, those are the two main ones you'll use if you want to specifically change the config. So yeah, that's basically it, and thanks for watching. If you have any questions, put them below. I can, I'll answer them to the best of my ability. But those are the basic commands you'll need to start, you know, doing stuff. Another useful one, um, if you want a bonus, is Archon SV Cheats one, like that. And then that gives you access to things like no clip and you know anything else you want to use for the server. But yeah, any questions, put them below. And thank you. Can I taunt up here? No. All right. Cool. Let's <laughs> see you.